So welcome back once again to What Gear Reviews and today I'm looking at this. This is the Yamaha WX010 and this is a Wi-Fi speaker but it also supports Bluetooth and Yamaha's very own music cast. Now most of you probably know Yamaha for their motorbikes. But you probably didn't know that they actually started in the professional audio game back in 1969 when they created the VS60 speaker and the VS90 speaker. And do you know what the best thing about music is? When it hits, you feel no pain. One good thing about the music, when it hits, you feel no pain. But anyway, I just want to say a big thank you to Yamaha for sending this to me. I really appreciate the support. It's quite hard for me as an up and coming tech YouTuber to get really cool stuff like this. Big thumbs up to you guys. Now, when I first took this out of the box, I have to say it was super easy to set up. Although, once I did set it up, there were 64 updates and there's a whole bunch of new stuff available through the app, which I'll come to at the end of this video. Now, what you probably want to know is how does this compare to the Sonos Play 1, which pretty much does almost the same as this speaker. But this has a few tricks up its sleeve and I'll explain that shortly. But anyway, let's talk about this speaker. So in terms of size, it's 16 by 12 by 13 which is pretty much identical to the size of the Sonos Play 1. At the center of this speaker around here, you have a subwoofer which is roughly nine centimeters, which is the same size as the one on the Sonos Play 1. And towards the top here, you actually have a 2.5 millimeter tweeter. But here's one big difference. This speaker, unlike the Sonos Play 1, actually has passive radiators at either side of the speaker which means you're gonna get more of a room filling sound from this because not only is the sound coming straight at you, it's also coming out the sides as well, which I think is a one up for the Yamaha WX010. And another really cool thing about this speaker is you can actually pair two of these up in one room with left and right audio channels so you can have stereo sound. So I mentioned this is a Wi-Fi speaker, but you will need power. You can connect it over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And if you want to, you can hardwire it using an ethernet port, which is similar to what you can do with the Sonos. I'm not sure if Sonos supports Bluetooth though. Now, when we talk about the power you get out of this thing, this thing actually has 25 watts, 15 watts coming from the woofer and 10 watts coming from the tweeter. And another one up that this actually has over the Play 1 is this actually outputs 96 Hertz where the Play 1 only does 88 Hertz. So now let's talk about the connectivity of this thing. You can actually connect this to a NAS drive and if you don't know what that is, basically it's a hard drive which is connected to your internet so you can access it remotely. So you have these in all your rooms and you can actually connect to that hard drive and play music in the different rooms. And some of the other things you can connect to using MusicCast are, for example, TV players, Blu-ray players, CD players which actually output high-res audio and you can stream that high-res audio around your house. Also, high-res audio headphones is a possibility too. But just bear in mind that not all of Yamaha's music car speakers support high-res. For example, this one I don't believe does. But some of their high-end home theater stuff definitely do. As well as that, you can connect to AV receiver. But this might be the killer feature because when I read about this, I was like, wow. Wow, you can actually connect this to a piano. Yes, Yamaha make a piano called the Disclavia Inspire. Now this piano actually has programmed into it 30 channels with 380 solo. So the piano will actually play itself. And 72 of the tracks programmed into the piano actually have accompaniments. So it will play the piano, actually play it, and play the accompaniments over the piano track. And this piano also has 48 tracks with backing. So you have music and a piano. But think about this, you have this piano in your house, you have all these speakers in all your rooms. That person playing the piano can actually play to the entire house. Now this could be really handy if you have a massive house, but also if you have like a business or a hotel or a restaurant or something like that, it could be really, really useful. And I think that's something I've never heard of before with any other wireless speakers. So this is a big one up for Yamaha. Now I mentioned the 64 updates that I got when I plugged this in for the first time. And one of them is actually going to be Amazon Alexa. So what you'll actually be able to do is have an Alexa and actually say to Alexa, Alexa, play my piano. And it will actually stop playing the piano in the other room through your music car speakers. And that's really amazing, I have to say. And I don't know, but I've got a feeling Sonos can't do that. 
But anyway, now let's look at the app. Okay, so here we have the MusicCast app, and if we open it up, straight away you can see here on this home screen, this is where you would have all of your rooms. And if we look at this, you can see right there, there's a photo of this very desk with the speaker on it. Now, the idea being that you take photos of each room and where the speakers are in each room, and they will appear here on this page. Now, if we go into the speaker here, you will see a bunch of stuff you can do. So you'll have playlists, which you've predefined earlier on, and you can play those automatically. Then you've got favorites. So on here, you've got the DAB radio stations, which I've pre-programmed, just some of my favorite radio stations. And if we go back, you can scroll across to recently played songs and songs that you have on a device that you're currently using. And then you've got a bunch of services like Napster and Spotify and Juke, Cubos, Tidal, Deezer, which I'm currently using. And if you want to know how Deezer compares to Spotify, I actually made a video called exactly that. So you can check that out. Let me know what you think of that video and which one you think is better. Then you've got AirPlay if you have an iPhone. You've got the server, which is a NAS drive, which I mentioned earlier on in the video. Then you've got DAB radio stations and something that Sonos does not have, Bluetooth. Now you can see up in that left hand corner, you've got rooms. And again, the idea being that you have all your rooms. Maybe you'll have a piano in there. Maybe you have your home theater in there, uh, speakers in your kitchen or wherever they are all listed out here with photographs indicating where they are. Now on this home screen, you also have settings here. So in the settings, you'll have all of your devices and you can actually even predefine what settings are applied to which speakers. You can have certain sound levels, you can have certain playlists, certain songs for certain rooms, which you can specify. And in the app settings here, you'll see a bunch of stuff that you can do to predefine those speakers and actually how the app works on this very phone right here. Now, when you're playing a song, for example, this one that we have right here, you can do a bunch of stuff. So in this bottom right corner here, you can actually configure the highs, the mids and the lows, and you can even set a sleep timer. So if you want to put on some relaxing music before you go to bed, you can actually specify how long you want it to play before it switches itself off. You've got the Bluetooth transmission here, so you can connect to it via Bluetooth, which Sonos doesn't have, just to mention it again. And you can see this is actually playing through Deezer right now. Now, Deezer actually plays within the music cast app it's not like the Deezer app standalone it actually connects to your Deezer account and links to the music cast now in this top right corner here you can see songs that have been played earlier in the day from the same speaker and if we go back you can use the drop down menu to quickly bring up all of the different services that you have now one really cool thing about this home screen here is you can actually link all of the different rooms together if you have more than one I've only got one right now and you can have all of your speakers playing the same music or different music in each room. You can pair two rooms together or three rooms together or your entire house, which is really cool. And then if we go into this little icon here in the bottom right corner, you can actually set presets, as I mentioned earlier before. So the different rooms can have different presets. And there's even a function to actually share your presets with other people who use MusicCast. And that pretty much is the app. And if we come back to the home screen here, we can also power the device off. Now this is important because we need to be more eco-friendly these days. We need to save the polar bears and Yamaha are thinking about this too. So basically, this speaker is super eco-friendly. This thing runs on just eight watts of power and when it's off, it uses just two watts of power. So for all of you out there thinking about your electricity bills and stuff like this, these won't actually use that much power. And that's good to know. So the question is now, would I recommend this speaker? I absolutely would. There's some amazing potential for this music cast. The fact that Yamaha don't just make speakers, they also make TV equipment and also actual instruments themselves. So there's some real amazing features you can have with this, but I will have to mention this. That piano I was talking about cost 35 to 52,000 pounds. So it's not for everybody, but if you can afford it, I definitely recommend you hook yourselves up some Yamaha music car speakers because you can have that beautiful piano playing all through your house. And also those pianos have performances from actual music artists as well. So it's like actually having that artist playing the piano in your house. That's amazing. And if you guys want to check out this speaker and some of the other Yamaha music car speakers and soundbars, then follow the link below this video. And again, a big thank you to Yamaha for hooking me this up. I really love this speaker. 
I have to figure out somewhere to put this on the wall because it's got the wall mounted on the back there. So to wrap this video up, I just want to say a big thank you once again to Yamaha. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you discovered a new product, an alternative to the Sonos speakers and quite possibly a lot better too. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and you will be one of the finest subscribers known to man. I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.